Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I couldn't be any more excited about today's video because I am going to be reviewing the Washi X film stock by Film Washi. And not only are these film stocks really unique, but so is the company behind them, Film Washi. So I'm super excited to tell you everything about it and give you my impressions on the first color film by Film Washi. So throughout the summer I shot two rolls of this film and I feel like this allowed me to really get to know all its different features. So let's get right into it. containers as well as the film itself, you're going to spot a little phrase that says the world's smallest film company. And that is definitely not an exaggeration because this company has been founded and is run by one single man, Lomic Perrotin, and it has been founded in France in 2013. I am gonna link the Instagram of Film Washi down in the description because you really have to check it out. I found it so fascinating how this company came about because Lomik runs it from army containers which he has purchased and then repurposed to cater for his film production and his operations. So definitely check out the Instagram because there you will find some videos and photos of what his setup looks like and I just find it to be very cool. So specifically, Film Washi produce experimental handmade films as well as hand-rolled commercial films. The different Washi films are named or categorized by different letters and the X is the first and only color film for now and it falls into the hand-rolled commercial film category. So it is a little less experimental than some of the other ones but it is equally as interesting and unique. On the company's website you're going to be able to find 35mm as well as medium format film stocks. For now the color film, the Washi X, only comes in 35 millimeter. The film Washi company name has been inspired by Washi paper, which is a Japanese paper produced from mulberry plants. The more you know. The Washi X is a 100 ISO film stock, so I waited for the summer to shoot this film because it does really love light and its ISO is perhaps something to keep in mind because it might not be the most handy for, for example, street photography if you need to be quick on the trigger and don't have a lot of light. Now what is so unique about this film stock? It is actually a maskless film. This means that it doesn't have the orange mask or the orange layer that you may be accustomed to seeing on your color negative films. This film is coated on a clear base and you can really see the difference when you look at the negatives compared to the more orange or brown appearance of your other color negative films. So what is the purpose of this orange mask? It has been developed in the 40s or 50s by, I believe, Kodak and it was mainly applied to kind of reduce the imperfections and reduce the saturation of color negative films because at the time they were very, very saturated and very punchy. And this is why the absence of the mask on the Washi X films is really going to bring you back in time to photos reminiscent of the 40s and 50s before this mask was used. You're also obviously going to find very saturated colors, which are almost pastel, and overall a very warm tone to your photographs. However, besides these very unique colors, there is actually another reason for the absence of this orange mask. Because without it, you can cross-process your films. This means that you can develop your Washi X either in traditional color negative chemistry C41 or you can develop it in E6 as if it were slide film. And that is actually the reason behind the name X for this film stock because the X stands for cross-processing. Unfortunately, I only developed my two rolls with C41 chemistry. However, the way you choose to develop them is going to really, really impact your results. You're gonna get two completely different aesthetics. Of course, there's the C41, as you can see in this video, with the very vibrant and pastel tones. But if you develop it as positive as slide film, you are going to find much cooler tones and like tonal shifts towards blue or green. I have added this to my to-do list. I am definitely going to try the E6 process in the future. So I scanned my rolls in two different labs while I was traveling this summer. One was in my usual lab here in France and another one was in the Czech Republic. And interestingly, the scans I got from the two different labs were very, very different. For example, here you can see a photograph that I got developed in Paris. It is very pastel, 
The colors are very soft. And here is a photograph from the role I developed in the Czech Republic. And you can see that the colors are much, much warmer and almost towards orange. At the end of the day, this really wasn't too much of a problem because I could fix the warmth and the tones in post. However, I was curious about the reason behind it and I figured it had something to do with the scanning. So I asked Lomig about this and he was kind enough to answer all my questions. And he explained to me that indeed it has something to do with the scanning or with the software that the lab uses. And my Czech lab probably didn't take into account the absence of the orange mask. And so their software overcompensated for it and really cranked up the warmth. However, if you know that your lab doesn't carry washi eggs or isn't too familiar with it, it might be a good idea to point it out to them. So when in doubt, point it out. <clears throat> My French lab, on the other hand, is very familiar with washi eggs and they knew exactly how to scan it to make it stand out as best as possible. Lomik told me that it was in fact the first lab to test washi X when it was being developed. You may also be interested in knowing that the absence of the mask really helps with the white balance, even in underexposed areas of your photos, which sometimes are a little bit tougher for your other negative film stocks. Now, as I hinted before, the Washi X has been hand-rolled from industrial film. Specifically, this formula has been used for aerial mapping, so it is a very technical film, which means that the quality of your photographs is really going to show that. The detail reproduction is just amazing, the film is super sharp, and the grain is really, really fine. The washi film stocks are also pretty cheap, which of course is always nice. Perhaps the washi eggs might not be the easiest film to use for beginners, but to be completely honest, with good sunlight, I didn't have many issues apart from some motion blur with moving subjects when my shutter was too slow to balance the low ISO. Other than that, I really personally enjoyed the saturation, the tones, and the high contrast that this film has to offer. It also has a slightly vintage vibe, again, due to the absence of the mask, like your early, early color photographs. As I mentioned, this film really loves sunlight, but it is also very sensitive, so I would be extra, extra cautious when loading your film. I would not do it in direct sunlight. That's a lie. I did it in direct sunlight. Then I ended up with light leaks in my first couple of frames, but that is me. When will I learn? Slight light leaks in your first couple of frames are really not that uncommon with this film stock, but if you make sure to load it in the shade, you should not really have any problems with that. Overall, I just really enjoy discovering this film stock. The company is so innovative and looking through their website, frankly, they have some really, really interesting film stocks. I know I'm going to be buying different ones and trying them out. For example, the Washi F is an X-ray film. The Washi Z is a near infrared film. And as far as the handcrafted films, you have the Y, W and V, which are all fabricated on special Japanese papers and they look like such an amazing experience to try out. Do let me know if you've tried out any of those in the comments below and I would love it if you could tell me your favorites that way I can try them out next. And another great thing about Filmwashi is that although it is a small company, they are distributed worldwide, they have distributors in pretty much every country. And this film is actually very easy to get your hands on, which is just great because so many films that I have talked about on this channel are really hard to come by. Now, one last thing before I go, I'm super excited because I've been in contact with moment.com, which you probably already know. It is a website that provides film stock, photography gear, and pretty much everything you might need as a photographer. And they kindly gave me an affiliate link. So if by any chance you're shopping for some gear or for some film stocks, I invite you to use the affiliate link in my description or the QR code which I'm gonna try and place on the screen. Don't feel like you have to, this is just if you're already shopping for gear on their website, it would really help the channel. And if not, just subscribe to the channel, I'm always happy to have new people here and every new subscriber pretty much makes my day. So thank you all for your continuous support, I hope you found this video useful. Check out moment.com, check out Washi X, and go out there and take some beautiful pictures. I will see you all next time. Bye bye.